Hello and welcome to Writer Rant, author advice in five minutes or less because I've got to get back to writing and so do you. So this week I'm going to talk a little bit about the internet. And so there's a lot of resources on the internet and I've noticed, uh, so for instance on Facebook, I've joined a couple of groups uh, that are kind of for authors, right? They're for authors to kind of meet and discuss and all those kind of things. Uh, it's kind of overwhelming. I get a lot of posts. Uh, especially on Facebook, about you know these new authors and they're trying to figure out the craft. They're trying to they're trying to figure out a lot of stuff. And so the trick is is that you know they're using Facebook. Uh, you know when I go on Twitter, sometimes check some of the hashtags. They're using these hashtags on Twitter, so they're using these resources. And like I get it, you want like somebody's opinion. That's great. You know if you put a poll out there, say hey. I mean, heck, I even did one once where I'm just like, you know, I've got a query letter for something that I'm querying. Do I spoil everything in the synopsis, or do I leave it kind of spoiler-free? And so that kind of helped give, you know, a general feel. Like, it wasn't 100% like, oh, hey, everyone said one thing or the other, but it kind of, gave, it kind of gave a general feel. Some people gave some useful links to say, hey, here's where to go for, you know, some more information on that. Because, like, I, I looked around, like, I did my own internet search. I didn't really find anything super definitive, so I was like, okay, hey, I need some need to gather some opinions, so let me go to Facebook, let me use this group there. Uh, but what I'm finding a lot of times is people are using it as a search engine. I'm like, oh my gosh. You know, Facebook and Twitter are not Google. Uh, yeah, you can say, hey, you know, does anybody know, you know, a name for a centaur or whatever? And I'm like, okay, well, if you went to Google and just typed, like, you know, fantasy name generator, you know, you'd get probably like a thousand results of, you know, plenty of great places to that, you know, generate fantasy names. So it's like, you're, you're offloading all of this work that technically you should be doing as the writer onto just the general public. So it's like, so how much of this is actually your story then? If you're just like, oh, any, any, any name will do, you know, anything will do. Um, so I mean, again, there's, there's plenty of writer resources out there. You just kind of, let's, let's try Googling first before asking Facebook, like, hey, all you people out there, you know, what's, uh, you know, how do I get better at doing grammar? And I'm like, well, you know, maybe try Googling how do I get better at doing grammar instead of asking people who may or may not even give you the right information you need, you know, depending on where you are. And, you know, you really kind of, you got to do some legwork. You can't just have everything given to you uh, through social media, uh, through these these things. I mean, yeah, I know Google can be overwhelming with the results and, you know, maybe then you're like, hey, you know, I look, I already did my Google search. You know, I'm kind of confused. Like, it's either, you know, their, their results are kind of balanced one way or the other, you know, I'm not really sure where to go. You know, then maybe ask for some opinions on, like, Facebook and Twitter. Uh, but maybe don't make Facebook and Twitter your first place to go for just kind of general search queries because, I don't know, at the very least, I should probably just put some of those groups on silent because I get a lot of this. I'm like, I just scroll through this because I don't want to see all of these things that could have been easily answered with a question. I mean, there's that meme out there, um, which I don't want to be demonetized. Not that I have enough views to be monetized, but it's like, Google, do you use it? You know, do you use it? Because so many answers can be answered with a simple Google search. Uh, you don't need to, I mean... If you're already on Facebook, oh, I should just ask my question here. It's like, no, just, just go over to Google, ask the question you need, do a little bit of work. It's like writing is not just this simple thing that you can just, you know, magically happen. It's like, no, it takes a little bit of work. It takes a little bit of effort. Uh, but again, own it. Own that process. Don't crowdsource, don't crowdfund, essentially, your, uh, your writing process. You know, make it your own. Take your own idea, like, don't, don't be searching for ideas and say, hey, I should, should I do an idea for this or that? And it's like, just whatever, you know, just, anyway. What do you think, as writers out there, about Facebook and Twitter as, you know, using them as search engines? Do you do it? Do you not do it? Do you hate it? Do you hate when people do it? You know, by all means, drop a comment below. Let's talk about it. Uh, I obviously don't like it, but uh, maybe I'm the only one. And if there's anything else you don't like about writing or reading or reviewing or any of that kind of stuff, uh, drop a comment below and maybe I'll get to it in a future episode. So thanks for watching this episode of Writer Rant. I'm Benjamin M. Weilert.